the daily wake up. Visualize your future. Behave in ways needed to create your future. Execute your new behaviors to fulfill your mission. We are mission chasers. Good morning, gentlemen. This is John Vickers, owner of Explosive Performance Academy and creator of the Courageous Men program. We help men become the best versions of themselves through fitness, faith, family, and finances. What do you think is possible? So whatever we think is possible or impossible is what it is, right? If you believe something is impossible and you cannot do it, you will never be able to achieve it. On the other hand, if you feel like it is possible and you feel like you can achieve it, more than likely you will achieve it unless it's something off the wall crazy. Now, I remember, so for me, like I grew up on on wheels, like four wheelers, dirt bikes, snowmobiles, three wheelers, stuff like that. If you're, if you're old school and you know three wheelers, then you've been around for a minute. Um, I actually, at two and a half years old, I had my first four wheeler and I was, um, riding around, like we would go up North all the time, riding around. My aunt always, always brings us up. Always. She's always like, you were riding around on that four wheeler all day, drinking chocolate milk, letting it, letting your bottle hang from your mouth and pissing your pants the whole time. All right, cool. Like that's one of my passions. Like I grew up just loving that. Like my parents, I remember, man, I was, I was little, little, and my dad would take me out on his old, uh, Yamaha. I can't remember what it was, but he would take me out on that, uh, riding around on his lap and just, it was enjoyable like i it was something that i did all the time and i loved it once i finally leveled up and went to a dirt bike like even better and then my parents ended up buying me a uh, rm80 two-stroke dirt bike this thing was it was wicked for sure at the time and like it was easy to get that front wheel up off the ground tons of power um just hit the clutch, just hit the throttle a little bit. That front end's coming up off the ground, and I, I could ride some wheelies. And I, I was an all right dirt biker. But the thing is, is my environment was, uh, for the most part, riding around on a flat track that was in my backyard. Like it was, it was awesome. It was fast, um, very, very enjoyable. I, I loved it growing up. But we would go up north ride it up north through the the trails that were in the on the property um remember actually getting the cops called on us because my bike was so loud and uh it was just something that i i love and i i still do it's been a minute since i've ridden a dirt bike i've had a crotch rocket um had a snowmobile but again it's been a minute since that as well but it was definitely a passion of mine growing up and it's something that i wanted to do i wanted to race but my parents never got me into it um i played football and racing was definitely expensive i i don't know if at the time they could have afforded it or not but we never did it but i i definitely wanted to do it um but i remember there was this time that my dad decided to uh, take me and my bike and he had a bike as well up to this place in in Brighton locally that uh, it was literally right off the highway and it was like a sand pit but people would go up there and ride dirt bikes all the time now it's it's now like a an outdoor mall almost an outlet mall type thing but people would go up there and ride dirt bikes and we went up there one time and there was a dude I don't know if he was like a semi-pro or he was a local pro that was a racer but this dude was legit at least in my eyes he was legit like he was hitting these jumps getting big ass air landing it just 
doing crazy stuff in the air, crazy stuff at the time, which today are, is, is nothing in comparison to what people are doing during the X, X Games because that, that stuff's wild. But I remember sitting there, like, seeing this guy, like, just fly and get this air that he's getting. And I was like, oh, man, like, I never, never imagined this because I've never been off the ground like this. And here this guy is just getting this crazy ass air just flying through the sky. And I'm down here on the ground, like in amazement of what was possible. Like I, I didn't think that was possible. And he was showing me what was possible. And like, that's one thing that I've always loved about like motocross, especially like freestyle motocross and freestyle motocross isn't my favorite thing, but guys were just like, always pushing the limit pushing the impossibilities and making them possible like travis pastrana if you're if you pay attention to um, dirt bikes or even rally cross or anything like that like you know who travis pastrana is if you don't know who travis pastrana is go ahead and look up travis pastrana like this man has like balls of steel like big balls of steel and he is fucking crazy with some of the things that he does like he's always pushed the limits to what he could possibly do on a bike and in a rally car and just does this crazy stuff like he has no fear I, i'm sure there is some fear in him but there is no fear when it comes to making something that's impossible possible on a dirt bike for him and some people just have that they have this knack to just continue to push through when they think there are things that are potentially impossible. Well, they actually think something's possible. And there's everybody else that thinks things are impossible. Like Travis was the first person to do a, to do a backflip on a dirt bike. Impossible, right? Impossible. Then Travis, I think he was the first person to do a double backflip on a dirt bike impossible two backflips in the air and landing it impossible and i'm pretty sure travis was the first person to do a front flip on a dirt bike front flip impossible he made it possible all of these things that you believe in your head that are impossible more than likely they are things that have been done before whether it be losing weight whether it be turning your relationship to something that's on fire, whether it be believing in yourself and, and thinking that you can do things and maybe even believing that you can make a million dollars or even a hundred thousand dollars a year. Like there are things that are possible that you think are impossible because people have done it before. And a lot of times when you see something that has been done it become you start to see more and more people that have done it just like the backflip with travis pastrana travis pastrana did that and then everybody else is doing it that's a regular trick in freestyle motocross now it, there's nothing nothing to it that people are doing crazy things on top of the backflip now but travis was the first person to do a backflip and he made it possible for other people to do it there's something right now that is in your head that you think is impossible, but it's actually possible. It's within reach, it's within grasp, where you can achieve it. You're just holding yourself back because you think it's impossible. So I want you to sit back and think about what you're holding yourself back on, what you are making impossible that is truly possible. It could be losing weight, okay? And if you are having a tough time losing weight and you want to get lean and cut in 2023, I guarantee you that it's possible. I lost 50, 50 pounds myself. I've got abs now. I, I look good. I feel good. It's possible for you to do it as well. Just because I'm a trainer doesn't mean that I'm the only one that can do it. No, like it's very simple. And if you need a guide, I have one right for you. If you want that free guide to get lean and cut in 2023, 
All you have to do is go to www.xpafoundations.com backslash lean and cut men. So it's www.xpafoundations.com backslash lean and cut men. That's all I have for you today. I look forward to talking to you tomorrow.